Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel at Design with Maha. In today's vlog, we are going to look on to how to create a product animation in 3ds Max software. So for that, let me maximize my perspective. And now with the standard primitives option, I am just going to click on to this particular option called box. And I am going to create a box towards the lengthwise like this. And here for the length and width height segment, how much ever you want, you can create it accordingly. I am just going for 333. And now here as you can see it is in default shading. Do click on to this particular option called edged faces. Now the edged faces will appear automatically. And now let me reduce my length and width segment. As you can see once we are done with this, right click and go to this particular option called convert to editable poly and there under editable poly click on to the drop down arrow and click edge option. Once you click on to it with the help of control option do highlight the corner edges of the box towards both left and right side accordingly. Do hold on to the control option and then you can highlight it like this. Now let me do it towards the right side also with the same option edge with the help of control button. Once we are done with this particular option, here you can see this option called ring. Click on to ring. What will happen is it will be connected automatically and now go to this option called connect. As you can see it has been splitted into four dimensions in word and here with the first option you can divide it into how much of a segments you want this is nothing but it will be converted into a new object according to the segments you are going to split it accordingly once we are done with the segment splittings you can just go to this option called tick and then do tick it So I'm just giving a segment as 2 and here I'm giving the segment as minus 35. And this is nothing but it will be moved towards the top and down according to the length, width and height you have previously given when you do created a default box. Now once we are done with this, what we are going to do is, let me toggle and show you. We are going to work on with the top corners of the box like the vertex of the box for that do click on to this vertex option so that the blue color will be highlighted like this and with the selection mark you can do select it like this or with the control option you can select the four corners and also once you are done with the four highlighted topics with the vertex in the box do use the same thing go for this particular option called scale which is normally found it near the rotation tool and do scale it like this with the x axis y axis and z axis however you want the product to be you can scale it accordingly or even you can go to the same ring format and same connect format or you can also go for the option extrude bevel and bridge you can create it accordingly however you want your product to appear you can go for the necessary items in the 3d animation software now what i'm doing is i'm repeating the same process to the bottom part of the product so for that what I'm going to do is with the help of control let me highlight all the four corners of my product. So once we are done with this I'm using the same scale option in order to make it as a uniform scaled subject. And also with the x, y and z axis I'm just going to adjust it accordingly. So as you can see we have created an product output like this and now what I'm going to do is here in the modifier list you will have a particular two options called mesh smooth and turbo smooth. So let me show you first one is mesh smooth. When you click on to it 
they will get a smooth texture for whatever product you are going to create so it will look like this so as for the edges you can see it is up and down if you want you can create it accordingly or properly too and also once you are done with this go to the second option called turbo smooth you can find it here see this is how you will get the final smooth finish for whatever product you are going to create so now let me show you as you can see it is still in the edged faces option so do click on to the edged faces and do click it again so that the edged faces will be removed and you will have the default shading like this and now what i'm going to do is let me quite increase the uh, inner width of the product for that i'm using this particular option called scaling and also i'm just dragging it towards some kind of inwards in order to give some inner width towards the particular product like this okay so as you can see this is going to be your product's output now what we can do is let me go to the material editor and already i have two to three pictures in my desktop so let me bring it inside as you can see it is a default lace packet or a potato chips packet or a potato couch like thing so i'm just going to drag it inside and place it over here as you have seen in the previous vlog how to adjust it is you will have to go to the modifier option and there you will be having an option called uvw map you would have already seen this in previous vlog so do click on to uvw map under modifier list do not disturb any other thing which you have created previously and directly go to the option called uvw map and there do click on to the drop down you will have a gizmo once you click on to the gizmo go to the uniform scale option and that's when you can create this particular output for your product as you can see it is in a planar motion towards the parameter side you can see it is in a planar motion so there is many other options available under it like a cylindrical spherical shrink wrap box and faces whichever is sufficient for you in order to bring the output of a picture perfectly you can click on to that particular option under mapping which comes under parameter so what i'm doing is with my planar option i'm just adjusting towards and bit and now i'm going to my option called cylindrical and spherical so which is going to work for me the box option will work for me see you can see the box option will work for me in this product design mostly when you do click on to a particular object spacing inside a particular product or like a material editor when you do want to apply a material editor for a particular product this object box mapping will be helpful for you and with, and it will also act accordingly so that you can adjust it towards a bit Also you can use all the three options move and scale and rotate and you can adjust it with the x axis y axis z axis and is going to enlarge the products material editor as you can see i'm just enlarging it and i'm reducing a bit also so that with the help of rotation option i can just rotate it towards inward like this whatever product you do create or whatever animations you are going to do in the 3ds max software everything depends upon the scaling move and rotation tool and also for the texture of each and every product we have many options available under modify our list so that you can click on to it and check with whatever options available see this is how we have created the material editor for the particular product as you can see my product is nothing but an potato chips thing a snack like product so see this is how your product is going to be created as for the corners and edges you can now do it minutely so that you will get the exact thin edges and just showing you the rough output on how to create a normal product for the beginner level so let's say without the product if you do want to create and some other output in this maybe the shape is similar right i can also create an perfume bottle so already i do have an image for that so let me put it inside let's see 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a perfume material editor for this particular product. Not only chips, whatever object you are going to create, you can have many other product definitions for it or whatever products you want, you can just name it accordingly. As you can see, when you do scale a particular material editor for a product, scaling will play a vital role. If you do scale it wrongly, it will become some other product like thing. So when you do scale or when you do go for and move option, do make it perfect for all your products or whatever subject or whatever character animation we are going to create with the 3ds Max software. Now, see, you can also create a perfume bottle with the same shape. So whatever product you are going to create, maybe and lipstick, you can go for the cylinder option or maybe and drink box, maybe and golden na, a sort like box thing, you can go for the box or spear option or even with the uh, cone, tube, primer, default shapes available, you can create whatever product it is going to be. Okay guys, we have come to end of today's vlog. Hope you people found it interesting and educative too. If so, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. We'll meet you in the next vlog with the same software 3ds Max. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.